This is Jason Dunn from Digital Home Thoughts, and I have a really interesting browser plugin to show you. Now, browser plugins, you know, some of them are good, some of them are not so good. This is one of my favorite ones, and I thought I would do a screen capture video using Camtasia to show you how it works. So, the br browser plugin in question is called PicLens. If you go to picklens.com, you can download it. It's compatible with uh, Windows, Mac, Firefox, IE, Safari, so they pretty much have most of the uh, the main browsers uh, covered. Once you install the plugin, you'll probably need to uh, restart your browser. And then once you restart your browser, you want to go over to uh, something like uh, Google. And if you go to Google Images, now when you hover over a picture, uh, what PicLens does is it, is it adds a little icon and you can see as I hover over the picture here, I get that little play sign. Now, any, any place that you see that little play sign, you can click on it and what it will do is it will take you into uh, a completely different uh, user interface and this is essentially what PicLens is. It allows you to uh, view images uh, in sort of like a thumbnail mode like this. You can click on the image and it will zoom in. Now the cool thing about this mode is that when you click on an image, it's actually going to uh, go to the uh, source image and it's going to download the higher resolution version. So rather than showing you uh, just the thumbnail version uh, that it shows you on Google Images, it actually does the work of going and downloading the, the uh, uh, image that it's actually been linked to. So as you can see here, I can browse through and I can uh, click on uh, different images and I can zoom in. I can zoom out if I want to look at all of them. I can use the controls down at the bottom here to actually scrub. That's the term in video editing, but essentially allows me to move back and forth, you know, really rapidly between all these images. I can double click on an image and it will actually take me into like a slideshow mode. Now it will also tell me uh, what image this what this uh, sorry, what website this image is coming from. I can click on play here and it will actually uh, start a slideshow for me. Uh, I can go forward and back again. If I uh, hit the escape key it will pop me back back to Google. Um, I'm going to click on this again though and go into it because I want to show you something else that's kind of cool. If you look up here in the search box it actually has popular searches for a lot of uh, images. So for instance I can um, go over here to um, uh, let's say uh, YouTube. Uh, well, actually no, I'm, I'm going to stick on Flickr. I'm going to go to Flip Flickr and um, let's just say I'll type in the word dogs. Hopefully that's a safe term. Uh, and as you can see here, I'm now getting a whole bunch of results uh, from Flickr. And if I click on uh, one of these images here, it'll, it'll, it'll get bigger. And um, if I really like this image and I want to see say more, more about the photographer that took it, I can click on this icon down here and it'll, what it'll do is it'll take me out of the Pick Lens plugin and it'll put me into uh, the Flickr page for this particular photographer, which is taking a little bit to load, but here I have the image. Um, and again, what's kind of neat is that I can go into here and uh, if I click on browse I should be able to see the set from this photographer and if I click on one of these images you'll see the pick lens icon there again so I can click on it and then now I'm actually exploring uh, the set uh, from just this photographer so now I can you know drill down and fly around and look at all of his uh, look at all of his images which I think is really cool uh, this is a really really fast way of um, you know accessing a whole bunch of information uh, really quickly visually and that's really the important part now the other thing here is that they have a, a YouTube plugin so uh, let's just say I want to search for something on YouTube for uh, the keyword of planes so now what it's going to do is it's going to show me um, it's going to show me uh, thumbnails from uh, a whole bunch of uh, YouTube videos so if I click on this image uh, you can see it's actually showing me uh, a video and now this is really impressive and I think this is something that they, they just added recently because the first time I saw this tool uh, I did not actually see uh, the video functionality but you can see that I can zoom out and uh, the video actually keeps playing so I can go over here I can click on another video and it's going to uh, it's going to start playing that video let's try a slightly different one here so this is uh, the way PicLens works it's a really interesting tool. Uh, in your browser, there's actually a, uh, an icon, and essentially this tool will do its best to give you uh, the most usable, you know, multi-photo view possible. It's not going to work on every single site, but what it'll do is when you click on the icon, it'll essentially take all the JPEGs on the page, and it'll do its best to render and uh, find the uh, high resolution 
higher resolution version if it's linked there. So once again, this is called PicLens. This is a free tool that you can download from PicLens.com. This is Jason Dunn from Digital Home Thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video and definitely check out this tool.